What's good YouTube? This video is gonna be about some male insecurities. I said this on Instagram once and I'll say it again for those of you who don't follow me on IG. You should by the way, kfig24. This may come as a great shock to some of you, but men have anxiety too. Stop believing the bullshit about them all being assertive and aggressive when they see a woman that they're attracted to. Some will, some won't, but you can apply blanket toughness and resiliency to rejection to any stranger, man or woman. So many different things influences whether or not a guy will approach you or date you with confidence or believes you when you tell him that you only want to be with him or thinks he's even good enough to have a chance with you or thinks you're not out of his league. I've known great and mighty men who were terrified to talk to women and I've known chumps who would approach every woman that walked past them. And in my life, I've been both of these men. When it's insinuated that a real man will do this and that with women, I just have to laugh. It's as if people think that all men are just some emotionless, inflated egos who are ready to pounce on any woman that they find fair. I assure you, for millions of men across the world, that's not the case. Just like women, they have fears and anxieties and insecurities that stop them from not only chasing their dreams, but also chasing the women that they dream about. The point of this video is to enlighten some of you ladies to the fact that while men may not always share the same challenges, they do share just as many. With that being said, the first thing that I want to talk about that men are often very self-conscious about, very insecure about, is their face and their hair. More specifically, their hairline. You can't just slap no makeup on no ugly ass man. You can't just throw a wig over a shitty hairline or cover up a bird's nest with concealer. Women have Spanx, body compression suits, wonder bras, makeup, lace fronts, high heels, booty pop panties. And that's before the ass shots and other forms of plastic surgery. What do men have? Cologne? There aren't very many forms of aesthetic assistance available to men that aren't frowned upon by the men. Men who aren't handsome have a lot to overcome mentally. And confidence is a challenge when you don't like what you see in the mirror every day. Just like women always say, well, guys have unlimited options looking through profiles on the internet. Women do also, and men are aware of that. Men are just as aware of how they stack up aesthetically as women are. And some men suffer with self-esteem issues because of it. Some good men feel invisible to women because they're not the most handsome guys around. And sometimes women have a way of treating those men like they're invisible. Just like some women don't feel beautiful enough, some men don't feel handsome enough. It affects the self-esteem in the same way. Moving on, the next insecurity that's very common among men is height. Even before sexuality is thrust upon us, why young girls aspire to be a princess and get married to a prince, young boys aspire to be big and strong. Unfortunately, everybody can't be. And by age 15, for many young men, that's a dream deferred. They must make peace with looking up at other guys and being eye to eye with a lot of women. It can be a lot to process, so I hear. Women liking taller guys and also thinking that they can kick your ass just because y'all the same size. A lot of short men are very secure, but just as many aren't. Height insecurities often cause shorter men to overcompensate with displays of aggression and other perceived forms of masculinity. It may also keep them from approaching women that they think may find them too short. So with that said, moving on, the next insecurity on the list is physique. The perception of strength and power goes a long way. And guys are just as insecure about their bodies many times as women are, but for different reasons. Males constantly size each other up. It's human nature. We're always trying to assess the threats around us. It's usually assumed that a more fit guy is more capable of protecting himself and his loved ones physically. Though that's not always the case. Hell, even some guys in great shape are as insecure about their bodies as guys in horrible shape. In the same way that aesthetic beauty is wealth for a woman, a nice physique and good stature is wealth for a man. Men who are in poor shape may still be confident, but that's in spite of their poor physique, not because of it. Sometimes those men just don't feel attractive enough to approach women. Moving on, the next insecurity on the list is financial. Half of this country is living paycheck to paycheck. Much of the other half has minimal savings. Men with nothing wish they had money, and men with money wish they had more. 
men are also not oblivious to the fact that deep pockets erase a multitude of inadequacies for men in the eyes of women. Money can make undesirable faces a bit more handsome. If your money's tall, you may not have to be for some women. It's a well-known fact that a man can treat some types of women like crap, but if he has money, she'll stick around anyway. Etc. 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 Money is the great equalizer for a lot of inadequacies. Every day, men with money have their way with married and committed women across this world. Luxury tempts some women to cheat, just like the perfect hips, thighs, ass, face, and boobs do for men. For that reason, men who don't feel that they have enough money may not approach a woman if she appears to be high maintenance. He may think she's out of his league or he can't afford her love. Not having enough money also causes some men to distrust their women if they work around a lot of rich men. It doesn't have to have anything to do with her. It's his insecurity about not being enough. A lot of great men don't have enough money to feel great. And sometimes that stops them from pursuing the women that they really want. So with that said, last but not least, the last insecurity I want to talk about today is endowment. Sometimes guys get a skewed perception of intimacy because of watching excessive amounts of adult programming. They can also get a skewed perception of normal as it pertains to a man's size. They may not realize that most of the guys that are in that line of work are in that line of work because of their size. They are outliers. They are the exceptions. They're not the rules. That still doesn't stop small and medium men from watching and still feeling inadequate though. If you've seen enough foot-long monsters plowing into the women of your dreams, it can have a very negative effect on the way you see yourself and women. Smut movies are usually a man's introduction to sexuality. And sometimes they forget it's a production and it's a performance. It's not always meant to simulate reality. And these guys don't always realize that the way a man touches a woman is as important as the size of his members. Or that the rhythm, tempo, and pressure or the spiritual and emotional connection that you have with a woman assist in conquering her mind and her body. Many men are also body shamed for being petite. It's the first thing that women say when you get in an argument with them. It's kind of disgusting because if a man brought up a woman's boob size or, or nipple shape or anything like that in an argument, he'd be seen as weak. But somehow or another, women get these insults off without a hitch and no one minds it. Some things are just out of our control. So I say all this to say that a man may want a woman with every fiber of his being and still feel inadequate or like he doesn't have a chance with her. Like, especially if he sees her flirting with the guys that have things that he lacks. Just like there are some women who won't have sex with the lights on or won't come outside with makeup or who haven't shown their real hair in years. There are men who are coping with varying levels of insecurity. People are imperfect. And sometimes our awareness of that fact affects how we behave and takes over our conscious minds. And that doesn't make us less of a man, less of a woman, or less worthy of love. Everyone has insecurities. Everyone. So anyway, think about that the next time someone says, well, a real man will approach you if he likes you. It's not always that simple. I think I've said enough. That's all I got for now. Follow me at kfhick24 at Instagram. Share my videos if you think they're helpful. I'll get with y'all later.